Ah, oh, Linux. Oh, hey there everyone, I'm Sam Tucker. And today, I'll be trading in my MacBook for a Linux block. Because yes, over the years I have poked a little bit of fun at Linux without ever giving it a proper real go. For instance, I installed Linux onto an Apple Silicon MacBook which is not ideal conditions. I used Arch Linux without a degree in computer science. And I even complained that installing apps was hard, even though I was the one who forgot to plug in the internet. Now, there's about six hours left in the day. That should be just enough time to install Linux. I'm sweating already. Oh, I haven't even started and Linux is already stressing me. Now I've created a bootable Ubuntu uh, USB stick. I figured we'd go with Ubuntu because that's the most kid-friendly, non-nerd edition. In fact, when I was setting up the uh, bootable drive for Ubuntu, the Mac tried to stop me. It said, Sam, no, don't do Ubuntu, it's not worth it. Well, we're about to find out. It comes with loading music. Very nice. It looks like a um, Civilization 6 boot menu. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi. Yes, I want this all just to work out of the box. System program problem detected. We're sorry, but we're not sure what the error is. Try restarting your computer and start the installation process again. Oh, this is not good. All right, first time didn't work. That's to be expected. Let's try it again. A few moments later. Welcome back everyone, we got it going. Turns out we were trying to install too much at one time, too many packages. All right, let's uh, restart the computer. This is a big reset. This is bigger than the great reset. What we want to do is to push the reset button. Oh, <laughs> it actually launched into Ubuntu. How about that? Check out who's excited. We're installing Ubuntu. Are you happy, bud? Are you happy for Ubuntu? Are you, are you trying to find a more competent operating system? Buddy, we tried Arch and it didn't, it didn't go very well. This makes my head sad. I tell you what, I'm gonna need a lot of energy to get through this video. And that's why I'm thanking this video sponsor, Charge and their Shah Geek 170 power bank. Now this beautiful log of power packs 24,000 milliamps of energy that can keep your devices powered all day and still be allowed on an airplane. With two USB-C ports and a USB-A, the Shah Geek can fast charge three devices at once with a massive 170 watt of max output. And with a single USB-C port having 140 watts of max output, you can even plug in your 16 inch MacBook Pro chonk and still have 30 watts to spare for your iPhone as well. And if you're like me and like to take long hard looks at your charge, then you'll see that through the beautiful transparent design, there's actually a smart display there that gives you all the stats on your current charging situation. Which means I now have the confidence to charge in the park. Or on a long haul flight, I can join the Mile High Charge Club and charge right in the cabin. So what are you waiting for? Share your charge and charge today. And click the link in the description to get your own Shah Geek 170 power bank now. Log in Sam Buntu. Welcome to Ubuntu 24.1. So the screen isn't upside down, that's a plus. All right, let me search for my apps. Apps, assemble. Ah, let's just see if we can start screen recording so you guys can see things a bit clearer. Capture. All right, looks like we're recording the screen. Hopefully this works. In fact, let's just test. Oh, it looks hideous. Linux screen recording. <laughs> Gross. Oh, it's already being so Linux. All right, let's find a screen recording program. OBS. Well, this isn't overkill. This is how I want to spend my entire day. I'm looking into the tunnel of doom and death. This is a metaphor. This is a metaphor for open source. Start recording. All right, so I think it's recording now. Your input can't be open. Check the log. Well, where's the check the log button? Let's change MKV to MP4. You can't play MP4. <laughs> All right then, so if I were to use Linux so far as my uh, professional machine, it may be a little hard to have a YouTube career without being able to play video. So things so far aren't looking too good. Let's see what else is on the list. Email. Doesn't look like I have an emailer installed. Please give me an email. Uh, 
Vivaldi has a green tick next to it, that seems nice. Although it looks more like a web browser, so that's not actually what I asked for. I'm just gonna go with the Thunderbird for now. I must say that when the apps do shop in the App Store, they are quite easy to install. They're just like installing something from Microsoft or Apple, except you don't have to hand over your credit card or nothing. All right, it actually um, loaded up my email quite handily. Let me test a new email here. Hey, Addy, just testing an email from my Ubuntu machine. Love, Sambuntu, sending message. All right, so we've sent off that message. Let's see if that gets through to the lovely, lovely wife. YouTube downloading. Yes, sometimes I've been known to download a YouTube video, you know, so I can grab little clips uh, from videos and stuff like that. You have no place on our platforms. All right, this looks pretty good. All right, it's got the video. It's downloading, bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Let's see the file. Ooh, it has downloaded the YouTube video beautifully. And I had to pay, I had to pay on Mac for a special app that could do this. But on Linux, people, care about stealing things and they write your apps for free. Let's have a look at um, getting some script writing done. So we need some sort of word. Well, let's just type in office, see what happens. Okay, so uh, this is a web browser, LibreOffice. That sounds like an office suite. I'll have one of these, please. Oh, look at this, an error occurred. Please run package manager. Wow, how many errors have we seen in this whole video so far? It's amazing. This is the year of Linux. Hang on, what's this? Select JRE. He's got enough attention, doesn't he? Joe Rogan trying to get in on my Linux. Oh, what do you know? We have a freaking error already. Good God. I just opened LibreOffice. It said, create a database. I said, sure. Would you like us to do it all automatically? I said, sure. What does it say? Database could not be established. Now whose fault is that? That's right, not mine. Text document looks good to me. All right, you can do text. Thank goodness there's at least that. But the real tricky thing, which I have been fearful for this whole video, is can you video edit on a Linux? Now, they say that DaVinci Resolve, a very popular professional web editing software, is compatible with Linux. Although, as you can see, it does not show up in the App Store. And so, that's no problem. We can just download it from their website. Okay, now let's just see what happens if we try to open the file. So the .run file doesn't run. That's a little bit of a shame. All right, let's consult the internet. So the way we fix anything in Linux is we copy and paste some code we found online into the terminal. All right, it's caching, it's locking. All right, it's doing stuff. You know, I don't know, why do I have to put so many commands into Linux? I mean, God, he only had 10 commands. Why does Linux need 100? All right, so the terminal has for some reason turned into DOS and I don't know if it worked or not. Now I am become DOS. Destroyer of computers. Okay, why? Yes, sudo, yes. Why can't I type anything? Ah! The power of sudo compels you. Oh. All right, so while it's taken a while to do that, let's see if we have a photo editor so that we can do thumbnails on YouTube. I hear GIMP is the way to go. All right, now, are we able to just drag images into GIMP? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that actually does work. I didn't expect it to. Drag in the happy man. This is actually kind of working. Okay, how do we make him bigger? Oh, we got a new message from the wife. Yes, it has. Did you send it through terminal? <laughs> no, we didn't send it through terminal. We, uh, we send it through Thunderbird. I love Linux. I think I could do thumbnails in Linux. It's just about as good as my usual work. So, all right, let's go back to the hard one of a uh, video. Editing. Okay, how are we going here? It is still apt getting. It doesn't look like it wants to do anything with uh, the Da Vinci. So because I value the years that I do have left in my life, I think we'll just have a look at a native uh, Linux editing app, as in an open sourcey one. Caden Live, let's see if this works. So this is meant to be a video editing software that works. No, actually it doesn't work. I spoke too soon. Package error cannot get lock. Well, where's lock? Go to the lock and find the monster and bring him to my Linux because he's not working. Be aware that removing the lock is not a solution and may break your system. How many times have I been warned that it will break my system? The system already doesn't work. It, breaking it wouldn't make it any worse. Let's try that one more time. Maybe it needs to be a snap. Give me the snap. Oh, shame you don't know the difference between a snap and a flap. 
No, why do I have to know? Why does a, an app not be an installing app? Oh, th this isn't the type of app you use to install. This is the app you use to have an error. Cool, let's open Kden Live. Kden Live crashed on last startup. Do you want to reset the configuration files? Well, apparently I don't get a choice. All right, here's one of my videos. Oh look, I'm editing on Linux. Change speed, ooh, let's slow me down. That's a little spooky. Let's fade in as well. Hang on a minute, is this right? Oh, <laughs> anything is possible in Linux. Here I was making a mockery every video when really anything is possible. Wow. So there you go. There's Linux. Did it work? A little bit. All right, so I will be fair. A lot of this probably would have gone smoother if it actually installed all those dependencies and extra apps that it says it was going to when I first installed the thing. But in typical Linux fashion, things are meant to work, but then they actually crash and don't. So then you have to spend a few minutes rejigging everything and taking up a lot of your time. But having said that, in the short time I've spent here, actually it's one of the longest shoots I've ever done, but in the time I've spent sitting at the desk, we've gotten email, YouTube downloading, word processing, thumbnail editing, and even video editing. So yes, can you use Linux as your everyday machine? Well, if you dedicate a solid day setting up things just the way you want, maybe it can be your everyday machine. Anyway, let me know what operating system do you use? Let me know in the comments below. And everyone who uses Linux, tell me everything that I did wrong. I am sure there are many, many things. Get yourself a charge. And until next time, stay funky, everyone. Sam time, signing off. <laughs> okay, you need to put in your password just to turn it off. Subscribe today. Can't play MP4 in Ubuntu. Oh, look at this, it's all in Romanian. All right then, so I don't think we're gonna get videos today. My watch is wrong. Linux broke my watch somehow. I'm applying a flanger to me, everyone. Those tiny as our updates now. Did you notice the flanger?